This is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro, and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now, before we get started with today's free Forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to TradeAdvisorPro.com forward slash free, and all you have to do is register, and then come back to this video, and we'll be sending a lot more goodies to help you with your Forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. Hey folks, this is Josh Taylor, and I want to take you through today, this very short video, a quick Q&A on a couple of questions that we had from our some of our customers. And... Um, so let's let's open one of these charts here. This is going to be a very quick video today. I'm going to show you a little bit how one of the questions that we had is over the last few days we've gotten in a lot of very profitable trades over the last week. It's, I think it's, what eight or nine profitable trades, and a couple of the trade signals that we sent out. By the time this particular customer um, opened up his email and put the trade signals into his software, the trade had already moved. So I want to show you on this euro USD chart of how we how to basically handle those trades. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda zoom this in here a little bit. Okay, so you see here, like we've been riding this channel. The Euro USD has been riding in this channel for uh, over the last week and we've been buy, buying, selling, buying, selling, buying all the way through. Now it finally broke into a new channel. But this customer missed a an opportunity here I, I, somewhere in here to buy or sell this pair, I can't remember the exact details in the email, but um, but let's run through a scenario so we can show you exactly how we do this. Now let's this is see here that this line is this is it's right above 1.3100. But let's just say we said to buy. Uh, let me let me think here for a second on how we could, we should put this together. Um, let's say that we we said to um, sell the euro here. Let's do that. Let's, let's do take a sell position. This is just is used for an example. Okay, let's say that we sent out a signal that said to sell the euro at 1.3200. Now, according to this chart, that wouldn't have been a great trade. So, but we're just using this for an example. So, let's say we said we said to sell the euro US dollar at 1.3200. Our profit target was 1.3100. Let's say our stop was 1.300. I mean 1.3400. So, so the stop would have been way up in here. Okay. Um, the problem is this customer. By the time he logged into his software, the price had already moved up to 1.3220. Okay. So when you try to enter a limit order to sell at 1.3200, it's it won't take. And the reason is because the 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 currency pair is already moved higher than 1.3200. So here's what, we, what I'm going to suggest on how to how to manage that trade. As long as the trade is still in play, when we send these trade signals out, now it, we got lucky here. It, it pretty much stayed held right on the line, a little bit past the line of 1.3200, and when when we sold. But sometimes this thing may shoot 100 pips up, like 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 it's almost it's moved 100 pips almost since since then. So if we set a trade signal out to you to sell at 1.3200, and by the time you open your software to enter the trade, it's already at 1.3250, it's up here, then go ahead and do an entry sell at market, okay? You would sell at market. The reason being, our goal is, is to see that if that trade, if that's the trade that we are taking, which in this case, we are not selling short the euro right now, okay? Until I can see what this thing's going to do, but if that was the case, then the reality is the higher this thing goes for a sell position, the less risk you have between where your entry and your stop. So you don't have, you don't have to risk as much capital. Plus, you have a further drop down, so you're talking about more profitable. So the reality is, if you would have sold at 1.3200, as opposed to selling at 1.3250. The 1.3250 would actually be a better entry point because it's deeper in the money. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Now, I'm, based on these charts, selling the euro right there 
is is not a good idea. But um, the reality is, I think this is over overbought, and uh, I think it's going to drop down anyway. But um, I hope hope that makes sense to you. So if you get a trade signal, because sometimes it moves fast, we'll send out a signal to you know, like we said, we'll send out a signal to sell at one point thirty two hundred. But by time the market moves so fast that by the time you open your email, it's already moved. Okay, if that's the case, you continue with your profit target. You continue with your stop loss up here, but you just buy at market instead of a sell limit. Okay, because you're so you're buying deeper into um, into the money. Okay, does that make sense? And the second question we had is from another customer, and we're going to show you on the same example. Is you know when we were trading in a range. How do we? What, what happens? How do we protect ourselves from being stopped out when the market breaks out of the range? Okay, and let me show you an example on what happened here on the um, the Aussie dollar. Let me see if I can pull this up. Okay, now this is just a simple chart, but we actually sold. Where did we sell? Right in here. On this Australian dollar US dollar pair at 1.7050. Okay, let's make that green so we can see it. This is where we sold. And we expected at this point that once price had moved to this area, that we expected that price was going to drop, 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 drop because this was an old um, support line. You can see, I mean, a resistance point. You can see that price drove, 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 drove for, let's see, a period of almost a month. And as soon as it hit this, 1.0750, it totally rejected it and it bombed. So we were expecting the same. Now it broke through a little bit. So if we zoom this in, we wanted to sell here and we were expecting the profit to target to be here and I don't have the numbers in front of me. Oh yeah. And then 1.050, we had our stop loss here. Okay. So here's what we did. Okay. When we, you can see this is a mini range. Okay for a few days. And we were expecting this thing to drop down here. You can see that this was rejecting, 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 and it blew past. So the way to get out of a trade once it breaks into a new range is when we sold here with a stop here and a profit target here, we, once this thing started going up, 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 and we saw that this thing could honestly take, continue taking off, we knew that it was going to reject for a little bit. So what we did is we put we changed our limit, which is where we want to take our profit, to our open. So what happened is we almost got stopped out here as price moved its way down today. It closed out our trade at break even. So we didn't lose, but we didn't and we didn't win. But our number one thing, remember I told you and I think I told you in a webinar uh, before, something that Will Rogers said, which was it's not I mean, he's not as concerned on his return of on investment as he is on the return of investment. Okay? So the reality is that in this case, rather than just stay in the trade and potentially get stopped out, we'd rather get out at break even so that we protect our downside. Yes, it's great making money, but the key way to keep that money is to make sure that um, we, we minimize our losses as much as possible. So when this thing broke out of the range, because our stop loss was high enough and we didn't get stopped out, what we did is we changed the trade to make our prop profit, our target, to close the trade at our open rate so that at least it closed at zero. All right? Now, if this thing comes back down to a different range, we'll start trading this pair again. But I hope that makes sense. Uh, so anyway, if you have any more questions, send an email to, to stick it to support. We'd be glad to help you in any way we can. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and free Forex traded alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free. All kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot.